imagine a world where cities are built from the ground up. With intricate highways, nurseries, and even underground farms, a world in which every citizen plays a specific role, and the success of the entire civilization depends on their unwavering cooperation. This is not a fantastical realm from a science fiction novel. It is the unique reality of the Ant Empire, a miniature world that exists right beneath our feet, in ant hills, and in different other places. We embark on an extraordinary journey, venturing deep into the heart of these incredible insect societies. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover the secrets of nature's ultimate architects and witness the incredible feats of engineering and organization that have allowed ants to thrive for millions of years. A city that can house millions of inhabitants, complete with weaving tunnels and rooms. This is the reality of an ant nest, a marvel of miniature engineering that defies our understanding of what these insects are capable of achieving. A complex structure that serves as the hub of activity and the foundation of their empire. From simple underground chambers to towering mounds and even webs built within the branches of trees, the diversity of ant nests is truly astounding. However, it is not just the sheer size and complexity of these structures that leave us in awe. It is the incredible precision and skill with which they are constructed. Ants are master builders, using their bodies as living tools to excavate, transport, and sculpt the soil into intricate networks of tunnels and chambers. Ants are often overlooked as mere nuisances, but these tiny creatures are among the most fascinating and successful organisms on our planet. With over 12,000 known species, ants have colonized nearly every corner of the Earth, from scorching deserts to frozen tundras. At the core of their success lies their incredible ability to work together as a highly organized and efficient superorganism. Each ant colony functions as a single cohesive unit with every individual playing a vital role in ensuring the survival and prosperity of the entire community. Behind every ant construction project lies an invisible workforce, a highly organized and efficient system that ensures the smooth operation of the entire endeavor, from lowly workers to specialized soldiers and even revered queens. Each member of the colony plays a crucial role in the success of their architectural endeavors. At the heart of this workforce lies an astonishing system of communication in which ants use a combination of chemical signals and physical cues to coordinate their efforts. Pheromone trails act as invisible highways, guiding workers to and from construction sites, while intricate dances and movements convey complex information about the task at hand. But it's not just the workers who contribute to the construction process. Soldier ants act as guardians protecting the colony from potential threats, while the queens play a vital role in ensuring the continuation of the colony's genetic lineage. A single ant may seem insignificant, but when they work together as a coordinated unit, their collective strength becomes truly formidable. Imagine thousands or even millions of ants working in perfect harmony. Some act as excavators, using their powerful jaws to loosen and remove soil, whereas others serve as transporters, carrying the excavated material away from the construction site. 
One of the most astounding aspects of ant construction is the ability to recycle and reuse materials. Ants are true masters of sustainable construction. As they excavate and build their nests, the ants carefully sort and reuse the soil and organic matter they encounter. Nothing goes to waste in the ant empire. Even the bodies of deceased colony members are recycled, providing valuable nutrients for the colony's fungus gardens or serving as building materials for new structures. This commitment to sustainability is not just a matter of practicality. It's a fundamental aspect of ant biology and their role in maintaining the delicate balance of the ecosystem. By minimizing waste and maximizing resource efficiency, ants contribute to the overall health and resilience of the environments they inhabit. Descending into the depths of an ant nest and discovering a hidden world of subterranean farms where intricate networks of tunnels and chambers are dedicated to the cultivation of specialized fungi. These fungus gardens are not mere patches of mold. They are carefully tended and maintained by dedicated worker ants who ensure the optimal growth and health of their precious crop. The ants' relationship with their fungal partners is a true symbiosis with the fungi providing essential nutrients and the ants providing a safe and controlled environment for their growth. This is a sensational example of nature's ingenuity and the incredible adaptability of these ants. In some species, ant nests can span vast areas with interconnected networks of tunnels and chambers that stretch for miles. Envision a sprawling metropolis with distinct neighborhoods and districts dedicated to specific functions. In one area, you might find nurseries where the colony's young are carefully tended and nurtured. Nearby, you will discover granaries where vast stores of food are meticulously organized and maintained. Elsewhere, you'll find the waste management districts where the colony's refuse is processed and recycled and defensive fortifications where soldier ants stand guard against potential threats. It is a true marvel of urban planning and organization, all achieved without the aid of blueprints or human architects but through the collective intelligence and cooperation of these ants. At the very center of every ant nest lies the queen's domain, a sacred and carefully guarded realm where the future of the colony is nurtured and protected. Assume you are descending into the innermost chambers of an ant nest where the air is thick with the scent of pheromones and the sound of thousands of tiny footsteps. Surrounded by a devoted retinue of worker ants, the queen is the ultimate ruler of the colony and her every need is attended to with unwavering devotion. From the constant grooming, and the feeding to the meticulous care of her precious eggs, the queen's domain is a world unto itself, a microcosm of the larger empire that surrounds it. Ant eggs survive on the queen ant's saliva. A female ant develops from a fertilized egg, whilst an unfertilized egg hatches a male ant. Once a queen has mated, her wings fall off. The queen ant certainly doesn't have blue blood. Ant's blood is completely colorless. The sole purpose of a male ant in life is to mate. Once it has spread its seed, it will die. In tropical regions, Ants make up 25% of the mass of all fauna. Ants go through four stages of complete metamorphosis. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. 
Ant eggs are tiny and oval, about the size of a period, and the life cycle can take 6 to 10 weeks to complete. While many ant species build permanent nests and underground cities, others have embraced a more nomadic lifestyle, constructing portable empires that can be easily transported from one location to another. A colony of ants on the move, carrying their entire civilization on their backs, these nomadic architects are masters of improvisation using whatever materials are available to construct temporary shelters and nests that can be quickly dismantled and rebuilt as the colony migrates. From intricate silk nests woven by weaver ants to temporary structures built by army ants, these portable empires are a tribute to the incredible adaptability and resourcefulness of these tiny ants. They remind us that despite constant change and uncertainty, the ant empire endures, always finding new ways to thrive and conquer the challenges of their ever-changing environments. Many ant species are content to build and defend their underground empires. Others have embraced a more aggressive lifestyle, forming vast armies that sweep across the landscape in search of new territories to conquer. A seething mass of thousands or even millions of individuals all moving in perfect synchronization. These formidable forces are not mere disorganized swarms. They are highly coordinated and efficient with specialized cast and roles that ensure their success on the battlefield. From the fearsome soldier ants with their powerful mandibles and potent chemical weapons to the tireless workers who transport the colony's resources, each member of the army plays a vital role in the conquest and subjugation of new territories. It's an amazing display of cooperation and organization and owed to the incredible evolutionary success of these tiny conquerors. In the miniature realm of the ant, wars are waged with the same ferocity and determination as those fought by larger animals. Ants can go to war with rival colonies for weeks at a time. Be a witness to the clash of two rival ant colonies as they engage in a deadly struggle for territory and resources, while workers scurry to reinforce their defenses and protect the precious queens. These battles are not mere skirmishes, with scouts and reconnaissance parties probing the enemy's defenses and strategic maneuvers designed to outflank and overwhelm the opposition. It's a world of intrigue, cunning, and raw power where the fate of entire empires hangs in the balance. For centuries, humans have marveled at the apparent intelligence and problem-solving abilities of ants. But what is the true nature of ant intelligence? And how do these tiny ants manage to accomplish such impressive feats? The answer lies in the concept of collective intelligence, a phenomenon where the combined efforts and interactions of many individuals give rise to a level of intelligence and problem-solving ability that far surpasses that of any single individual. We observe an ant colony as it navigates the complex challenges of its environment, finding the most efficient routes to food sources, constructing elaborate nests, and defending its territory from rivals. Each ant may seem simple and limited in its capabilities, but when they work together as a coordinated unit, their collective intelligence becomes truly formidable.
in the world of arts, the concept of individuality takes on a whole new meaning. Rather than viewing each ant as a separate entity, scientists have come to understand that entire colonies can be considered superorganisms, vast living entities composed of millions of individual units working in perfect harmony. Picture an ant colony as a single cohesive organism, with each individual ant functioning as a specialized cell contributing to the overall health and survival of the larger whole. Just as the cells in our bodies work together to keep us alive and functioning, so too do the ants in a colony cooperate to ensure the continuation of their genetic lineage. Ants cognitively work as a whole colony. This distinctive level of cooperation and coordination is what allows ant colonies to achieve feats that will be impossible for any single individual. It's the power of collective action and the incredible evolutionary success of these tiny insects. Ants are officially the world's smartest insects and have a whopping 250,000 brain cells. It is believed that ants have existed on this planet for 130 million years. They are the world's first farmers and have had agriculture longer than human beings. They forage by following other ants' trails of pheromones to food sources. They leave a trail of pheromones so they can trace back wherever they have been. Ants don't have ears, but can feel their way through vibrations and can navigate using the Earth's magnetic field. There are one million ants for every human on our planet. A colony of 40,000 ants is collectively as intelligent as one human being. A super colony can contain up to 300 million individual ants. The world's largest ant colony spans 600 miles and there are over 10 trillion ants on the earth right now. There are three types of ants in a colony. The queen, the major workers who are usually sterile females, and the lesser workers who are usually males. 20% of ants in a colony do absolutely nothing. The male ants have wings while the workers don't. The queen is the only ant that can lay eggs. A male ant's job is to mate with future queen ants. Once the queen is old enough to lay eggs, she spends the rest of her life laying eggs. Ants are super patriotic. When the queen dies, the rest of the colony will die within a few months. The role of the queen is to lay tens of thousands of eggs, ensuring that the colony remains strong and mighty. Some worker ants act as soldiers. They protect the colony, gather food, and fight other colonies for more food and space. If they beat another ant colony, they take the other colony's eggs. When those eggs hatch, the new ants are forced to work for the new colony. They take care of the eggs and babies, find food for the colony, and continue to build the empires of the conquering ants. Most ant species only have one queen per colony. But the red imported fire ant and the Argentine ant have been known to have two. Each ant colony has its own special scent. This way they can smell intruders. In cold seasons, worker ants move the larva further into the nest. Every year, ants move approximately 50 tons of soil per square mile. They are very efficient but some ants like the driver ants are scary. These predators work in mass groups to consume everything in their paths. They have been known to consume tethered horses and even human infants. Ants also learn from each other. They are great teachers and are the only non-mammals who can learn via interaction. A few ants are remarkable in their own special ways. Like the Dracula ant, 
which holds the record for being the fastest moving creature in nature at 320 kilometers per hour. The pharaoh ant, the world's smallest ant, which is a tiny two millimeters long. The leaf cutter ant, which is the strongest known ant, can lift 50 times its body weight. And the bullet ant, the world's biggest ant, found in the Panama jungle. These creatures can grow up to 1.6 inches. The bite of a bulldog ant can kill a human in about 15 minutes. Many indigenous tribes use ants for medicinal purposes. They get the ants to produce two bites on either side of a cot to help it heal. The power of the ant's jaw creates a seal. Also, the bite of a bullet ant is said to be as painful as being shot. While ants may seem like self-contained and self-sufficient entities, the truth is that these peculiar societies often rely on intricate partnerships and symbiotic relationships with other organisms to thrive. From the specialized fungi that provide vital nutrients, to tiny mites and beetles that act as housekeepers and waste managers, the ant's nest is a complex web of interdependence. But these symbiotic relationships extend far beyond the confines of the nest itself. In the world above, ants form partnerships with plants, dispersing their seeds and protecting them from herbivores in exchange for shelter and sustenance. Seeing the construction of a towering ant nest rising from the ground like a miniature skyscraper, as you watch, you'll see the ants employing ingenious techniques and strategies, using their bodies as living tools to sculpt and shape the soil into intricate structures. From the use of specialized building materials like plant fibers and silk, to the incorporation of natural features like twigs and leaves, these master builders are constantly finding new ways to push the limits of their craft. It's the incredible ingenuity and problem-solving abilities of these creatures and a reminder that even in the smallest of worlds, great achievements are possible. There are 12,000 different species of ants around the world. You may know them as those black insects that are attracted to sugar crumbs around your home, but there are so many more in different colors. Ants belong to the insect group Hymenoptera, which also includes wasps and bees. An ant that is destined to become a queen ant is suitably called a princess ant. The soldier ant is quite literally a soldier for the queen. They use their heads to block entrances, stopping intruders from entering the nest. After ant eggs hatch, the larvae are raised by the worker ants. Leaf cutter ants are farmers. They grow mushrooms through the secretion of antibiotics, which enhances mold growth. Army ants do not live in a nest. These ants are always on the move and are found in Central and South America. The average fire ant sleeps around nine hours per day. Honeypot ants are literally living honeypots. These greedy creatures spend their days feasting on food, making their bellies swell into bags of sweet liquid. They then regurgitate this to feed others in the colony. The carpenter ant can self-destruct to save others. It contracts its body to rupture its glands and spray toxic liquid at its enemies. Carpenter ants can be a total pain to your home. These guys build their nests in wood, which isn't great when it comes to your ceiling beams. There is a species of vampire ants 
that live in Madagascar and feed by biting holes into their lava and drinking their blood. A prehistoric ant was discovered that had a wingspan of six inches. It is known as the Titanomimura gigantium and is the biggest ant to have ever existed. While the world of ants may seem distant and removed from our own, the truth is that these societies have a profound impact on our daily lives, both positive and negative. On the one hand, ants play a vital role in maintaining the health and balance of our ecosystems. As decomposers and soil aerators, they help to recycle nutrients and promote the growth of plants contributing to the overall productivity of our natural environments. However, ants can also come into conflict with human societies, particularly when they invade our homes and structures in search of food and shelter. Invasive species like the Argentine ant and the red imported fire ant can cause significant damage and pose risks to human health and agriculture. Ant's diet is as diverse as the species of ant. Ants can be attracted to a wide range of foods, with different species having preferences for sugars, proteins, fats, and oils. Most ants are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals, from leaves, nectar, and fungus, to other insects, insect eggs, and lizards. Most ants spend much of their time looking for food and eating. Worker ants spend most of their nights looking for food during the spring and summer months. Ants also eat both living and dead things. During extended dry periods, they also search for water. In many species, once an individual has found a desirable item, it will return to the nest and recruit nest mates to help gather the food. This can result in large numbers of ants rapidly appearing around an item, sometimes with long trails of ants between the nest and the item of interest. Ants have two stomachs, one for their own food and the other to feed others. They have a larger muscle-to-body ratio than humans and often carry other insects from plant to plant. But don't be fooled. They just want the insect's nectar. Ants are enslavers. They often kidnap ants from other colonies and force them to do their work. Ants don't have lungs. They breathe through tiny holes all over their bodies. They can swim and survive underwater for extended periods. Ants also surprisingly smell with their antennas. Ants have compound eyes made of a combination of small eyes which allow them to see movements very well. When an ant dies, it releases a chemical that communicates to the other ants to move it to a burial ground. The average black garden ant has a lifespan of 15 years, longer than the average dog. Queen ants can live up to three decades. That's longer than any other insect. As much as ants cooperate to carry out huge tasks, when they fight, it is usually a fight to the death. As we come to the end of our journey through the impressive world of the ant empire, one thing becomes abundantly clear. These tiny creatures have left an indelible mark on our planet, shaping ecosystems and inspiring awe and wonder in generations of humans and scientists. From the towering mounds and intricate underground cities to the vast armies and complex social structures, 
the Ants Empire showcases the incredible power of cooperation, organization, and collective intelligence. These tiny architects have mastered the art of miniature construction, building empires rivaling advanced human civilizations. But beyond their architectural achievements and vast empire, ants also serve as a reminder of the incredible diversity and resilience of life on our planet.